Praise the Lord, Archbishop. Mm. With me here is one of our sisters in the church. Yes. Um, she'd like to thank God for the anointing upon this ministry and upon your life. And thank God for her daughter. Um, when she was pregnant with her child, she went through a lot of stuff, as she said. And um, the doctors say that the child would be disabled. On three occasions, she was offered a test to establish what the status of the child is going to be. She refused it and said that she's a child of God and she believed that her daughter is just going to be fine. And exactly that's what happened. She remembered one morning, um, about three in the morning, she was praying using the Bible and hitting her belly <laughs> when she was, while she was pregnant, hitting her belly with the Bible. She was hitting her belly. That's right, Archbishop, yes, while yes. she was praying and remember having a dream. And in the dream, she saw her name on the TV and with three skulls. And the first skull was kicked. And when the first skull was kicked, what happened against her? Um, I saw, um, after I had the test, I was crying and then I felt ashamed because I'm a child of God. I shouldn't be even crying, first of all. And um, I was told I was, I was going to have the test. So I said, okay. So 3 a.m. in the morning, I took the Bible and I start beating. So I, I start praying and calling on God and I start beating my, you know, my stomach with the Bible. And I was just crying out to God that you know, my baby will not be disabled because I don't have a disabled God and, and all these things. So um, then I went to bed at five o'clock because I think I started at three to five and I, I went to bed. So I saw it was the television. It was clear as day. I saw my name. It says Samuela James and I had the voice, Bishop. It was so clear. The voice said Samuela James. My promise is my promise. I would never forget that till I die. And I saw three skull, two skulls, like in a purse, dead skulls, black ones. And I saw the, the a feet, like a foot, just kick the skulls away. And these skulls turn into white, lovely um, birds, like a like a little nice chicken, white. The other one, I don't remember what was inside, but then it, the other one, he changes it to like a ring like an engagement diamond ring kind of thing. It was three, but up till now, the, the third one just went. I just couldn't remember. So I was like, I stunned. I'm like, wow. I said, God, you can answer prayers. So since that day, I, I stood, I used my faith. I said, my child is not going to be disabled. And I called my friends, prayer warrior, like Sister Esther, and I remember one time I said, on the 1st of July, I will not forget, I said, I want us to do a one hour intense prayer in my house. So I called them with other um, two friends of mine and we prayed and we prayed and we prayed until we were sweating. And I said, God, whatever it is, you're going to reverse it because this is not going to happen. My child is not going to be born disabled. So, and that night I made a covenant. I said, God, if you take me through this journey, and I give birth safely, my child is fine, I will dedicate my child to you because I never dedicated Samal, never had a chance. Samal's dad is a Muslim, so there was always kind of fighting. Somehow when God was ready, I just did it with no fight. I said, I will, I'm gonna dedicate Maya and Samal together. And the name Maya, that same day, I had the voice three times. It says, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, Jeremiah. The voice was so clear and I, when I get these dreams I wake up and I took the Bible I went straight to Jeremiah and the first four of us it says before you were formed in your mother's womb I knew who you are I read that verse and that was the confirmation from God telling me I have given you a child that has a destiny Amen. this child is going to be blessed so you don't have anything to worry. And I said, I'm going to honor God for this name. So I thought I was going to have a boy. So then, obviously, when we did the, the test, they said, it's a girl. I'm like, oh. I said, well, I'm still going to honor God. I'm going to give her Jeremiah. I would take the Jerry out and give her Maya. So she is Jeremiah in a woman's form. Oh, Jeremiah somebody, hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Amen. And I said, we had grace because the grace of God was upon me. And Bishop, you know what I went through with this child. It wasn't easy. I went through humiliation. I went through so many things. I lost friends that I thought were my friends. But at the same time, God replaced them with good friends. 
You understand? So it wasn't easy. I didn't know where I was going. I was lost. I was crying. And I remember when we have, I tell you something. I want this, I want church to know something. That Jericho wall, that service that we had, I will hold on to that service for the rest of my life. I was pregnant. I was in pain, like the baby was coming out of my womb. And for seven days, I said, God, I, I used to remember, I would drag myself. I'm going slowly, slowly. I said, I would not lose one day. I said, God, this is my Jericho wall. And this wall will be broken in Jesus' name. I said, if, you know, if you're not tired with me, you haven't given up on me. God, I will not give up on you. And I remember when we came to the service that morning, the last day, and you said, that we have to stay for the next the next service because that means if you come, that means you haven't finished. I said, I will die here today, but I will not die, but I will finish this service. And that day I finished that service. Everything that I asked God for, for this child, he came to pass. That service. Somebody praise the Lord. For the rest of my life. So this girl is full of so many favors, Bishop. Since she was born, I don't have to think. I will just sit down and somebody will say to me, hey, in my Creole, in my language. I don't put 50 pounds for Maya in an account. I put 50 pounds for Maya into the account. If I start thinking, oh, the milk is going in the middle, Bishop, somebody will bless me straight away. The favors are endless. This girl has got so much stuff. We haven't even gone to the second box. Sister Esther can testify. There's so many stuff. I had one of the biggest baby shower. It was like a wedding in this country. I'm not joking. The blessings of God were endless. And Bishop, I love you. You know, I love you so much. And I say this all the time. I love you so much. You are my father. You came, you accepted me. And you, you are my mentor. And thank you. I want to acknowledge God. Thank you so much, Daddy Bishop. Thank you. Stand up whenever you are right. Father, we thank you for your favor. Continue to bless her, even in your testimony. Let your testimony multiply. Multiply. Receive in Jesus' name.